Yes, people, welcome back to another video. I was going to say another live stream, but we're doing a rare video on the channel. It's a Man United versus Chelsea preview. As you guys already know, I said on the last stream, I decided I'm, I'm going to go to the United-Chelsea game. Fuck it. Last away of the season. I didn't go Old Trafford last season. Might as well tick off the ground again. There's not going to be football for the next few months, so might as well make the most of it. And nobody wants my ticket. They're calling yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Chelsea fans are calling this El Swervico, you know. All my yeah. mate, nobody's going to. I know like three, four men going, and that's about it. But fuck it. Side will be there, flawless will be there. We'll link mm -hmm. up again, be a good session, everything, and we'll probably lose. But it is what it is. Big up everybody that's in here though. Like, subscribe, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. Give me your score predictions and everything. Be as creative as you want to be. And yeah, big up everybody that's in here. I got my G rants in the building. What are you telling me, my guy? You all good? I'm okay. I'm okay. It's it's a weird finish to the season for me because it's like I'm just looking forward to the FA Cup final, but I'm not looking forward to it. Do you know what I mean? As far as the least mm. concerned, like it's wrapped. We only need it, a man. draw for top four. We now, only need right? a draw for top four. And we got two games, man. Two home games. Like I'm just. Yeah, like we'll get well, you're to gonna four. get that against us anyway. Even yeah. when we're at our best, we usually just draw. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, we're not losing in it to Chelsea. So as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. after tomorrow, Champions League secure in it. Like, and then it means that the seat the season's objectives have been met with a cup final in hand. So over the course of the season, even though it's been a turbulent one year, I still have to look at the season as it's been it's been I wouldn't say a successful season, but it's been acceptable, in it. Yeah, I think acceptable is the right way. Like you got top four, you even got a trophy on it. I yeah. feel like if you win the FA Cup, you could look at it and say it's been slightly successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we win the FA Cup, season. then I'd say that that then it's been a successful season. Two trophies and um and Champions League football secured. I'd say that that was beyond anyone's wildest dreams. No one thought we would win two trophies and get top four mm -hmm. at the start of the season. After we got panned by Brentford and Brighton. People were joking about us getting relegated. So, you know what I mean, they thought they were gonna have, we were going to have the season that you lot would. You know what I mean? I don't think you guys would have got top four I, I, mm. initially. I thought you guys were like maybe fifth, sixth. Uh, you would improve on last season. Last yeah. season was just a complete write off for you guys from like October, Correct. November onwards. This season, I, I feel like you've exceeded expectations, but it has been a bit of a disappointing ending just based on your form from mm. the Carabao Cup final onwards. But in spite yeah. of that, you've still consolidated top four. You're going to get it. Ideally, you get a result tomorrow, draw or a win, and then you rest on Sunday That's with it. the FA Cup final coming through. And yeah. everything kind of falls into place. I'm going to be real. You're not even drawing on tomorrow. You're going to get a win. I'm just hoping <laughs> yeah. it's not a piece where you're Pamas. Because we have been overdue a thrashing for fucking ages. I know, but we... We've got such a good home record, so we've been oh, we've been due we've been due yeah a disappointing result at home as well, like because our home record's been really good, like you know what I mean. And so I don't know, it's a strange game where it's like everyone thinks we're gonna win, yeah. So I don't know. I could see I could see a draw, but I don't care. Like I just want the mathematical um, equation of top four to be closed, and then. It is what it is. I'm at the point of the season now where I'm happy to see the back of it. I just want to see the back of it with the right result. Yeah, well, I just want to see the back of it. I won't lie to you because I know we're not getting the result. Newcastle are on the beach because mm. they've already consolidated top four, but they also kind of have something to fight for because you guys are battling for third place. I think Yeah, point we could still get it. If we win both our games, then third place is secured. Yeah, they got Nick Pope out, but like that's not really going to make a difference. We'll give Carriers a clean sheet. All mm. depends on their finishing or if they're just happy with top four in general. I, I, it all depends on their mood going into the game because we are a fucking mess. I, I look at it, we get an injury basically every week. Sterling's yeah. now out injured. He hasn't been called for the England squad because he's got a hamstring problem. And mm -hmm. that is including, that is added to Mason Mount, James, Chilwell, Cucurella. Kante, Koulibaly, and Badia Shield. All Shit. out. Injured. They're all injured, bro. Who do you have then? Like, bro, you just named half your team. Uh, it, it's probably going to be. They're going to play as Gallagher right? and, and Havertz and them. Yeah, Gallagher, Havertz, um, Lewis Hall. You get Aspie B. Rashford. That, that's going to be a fun one. 
If um, Rashford's fit, I don't know because last game I think he had like a bit of a knock, so he didn't play. And there might be a little bit of hope then. I don't know who you play on the left if it's not Rashford. So it's Martial back. No, it'd be Sancho or Garnacho. Um Oh Sancho, you know what? We'll cancel out the right hand side, then we'll take that. That'll work. Mm-hmm. I remember Sancho, he wasn't good the last time we played. He was you. horrible and last time he played you. That was his worst performance in the United shirt. Yeah, and it stood out because you lot were battering us inspired that. I was yeah. arguing with a few of my mates on my stream about this. That 1-1 one, one wasn't like United snatched the draw at last minute. We were about to snatch a win we didn't deserve. Yeah, we and killed United you that game. And that. I thought, how the hell, we, we nearly lost it. And we killed you that game. Like That was one of the most one-sided draws I've seen in a long time. And we nearly mm-hmm. lost it. Exactly, bro. That's why I'm not re- delusing myself into anything for this game with the injuries, with Lampard, who's still going to do some stupidness. Players mm. on the beach. Game is done. It's just what depends on what you guys are moving like. Do you want to batter us for 90 minutes or do you want to kill the game early and then mm. just consolidate and rest players? True, true. I would like that. I would prefer to get the job done against Chelsea. So we go into the final game of the season, rest the required players. But then again, we've got such a good home record. Do you want to go into the game against Fulham, resting players and ri- risk Fulham who are having a good season, potentially losing a bit of momentum going into a final? Maybe not. Do you see what I mean? So it's a catch-22 for the manager. Do you um, keep up the winning um, habit if you beat Chelsea to go and beat Fulham but risk injuring someone? Or do you rest players and risk losing momentum a bit? Like it's, I don't know, man. Well, I'm glad I don't Here's have to make that choice. We're the, we're the easiest team you have compared to Fulham. Even compared to your last match. Bournemouth mm. would have given you a much bigger fight than we would. So it's like, it depends. You lot can rest. I would rather you did. It would give us a little bit more hope going into this game. But it won't make a difference. It won't make a difference. Newcastle will beat us. You guys will beat us. Four more days for me. And the season's over. And then we can move on to the transfer window, the clear out. And this is a brilliant segue into news that I saw earlier today. Manchester United are looking at Mason Mount and are potentially going to drop a £55 million bid for him. It was reported by Sammy Mockbell. What, what, what's your thoughts, Rance? Do you feel like Eric Ten Hag could get a tune out of Mount or is it just like you want to avoid at all costs? Hell no. I don't want Mason Mount anywhere near my football club. You know what I mean? I don't want him even linked to my football club. This is already too much activity. Like... There's no way I want me some out of my club. There's no, there's absolutely nobody on this planet that can convince me that this is a signing that I want and that I'll ever accept at my football club. You know what I mean? Like I feel strongly about this as I did when we got linked with Darwin Nunes. I do not want me some out anywhere near. If this guy can't even hold down a position at Chelsea, why the fuck should we take him? Like it, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, man. See, the maddest thing is like I haven't spoken to a single rival fan, not just for United, for Arsenal, for Liverpool. Nobody I've spoken to has said that they want Mason Mount. Chelsea fans, obviously, you know what our fan base is mm. like. They're beef- they've been beefing over Mount every single day. The amount of tweets I see crying about Mason Mount where they're like, oh, if we let Mason Mount go, this is going to be such a terrible look on the club and the new owners. And all of that. The brother is holding us to ransom for around 200 to 250k a week. Wages he doesn't deserve. And he hasn't proven himself to deserve since asking for those wages. Facts. I don't I don't care if he stays here. I don't care if he goes. If he re-signs, whatever. I'll let Poch do whatever he wants with him. I'm not going to be like, this is the worst decision we've ever made. But I, I yeah. don't want us to let this guy get what he wants. If you want to stay here, if you're as proper Chelsea as everybody wants to say that you are, Mm-hmm. Why are you waiting for stupid money? Facts. I will never understand. Why are you even talking to Liverpool? Why are you even negotiating with Arsenal, with Manchester United and the likes? Because those are all our rivals. But yeah. that don't even phase you. I'm not going to be annoyed if Mount goes to any of those clubs. I won't mind because we're going to fleece whatever club does it. Yeah, you know, facts. You're going to get more than he's worth. Him. Guess how much we valued him? So, I think like what? Like 70 mil or something? Nah, it's higher than that, bro. It's it's 85. I heard we're value Mason Mount with one year left on his deal. With one year left, bro. When did bro, how can you think he's good at football like that, bro? Like one year left, 75. That English minutes. tax is crazy, bro. With one year left, bro. Like that's the kind of money that bro. They're talking like he's on Harry Kane's level or something like that. Bro, it's Mason Mount. I, I don't understand it. I genuinely don't. If we even get close to that, 
Whoever whoever's in charge of that club's financials needs to get sacked immediately because right. he's not worth that level. I don't even think his potential gets him to that level because also the fuckers regressed. I think if I think that's like a base way, a base fee that they're looking at, and eventually they will have to accept lower. I think we get 55, 60 though, or maybe maybe around fifty if it gets to that bro, point. Sixty Which I don't million for this amount is wild, bro. It's crazy, but that English tax is crazy too. We had 40 million for Gallagher offered by Everton in January. Mm. So if you can get 40 million for, for Gallagher, realistically, you can get 50 to 60 for Mason Mount. And that's the mad thing. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know, bro. man. I just don't want him nowhere near my team, bro. Like there's there's nothing anyone can say or do to convince me that this is an idea that I can get on board. It's a disgrace, isn't it? Like uh, he needs to fuck off to Liverpool, bro. I feel like he suits Liverpool, mm -hmm. like the way he plays. And yeah, like he's not good enough to play for us, man. So yeah, hopefully it's just paper talk, man. But I don't know, man. I don't know if they're trying to start a bidding war between Chelsea and the clubs or if, I don't know, they're trying to get a reaction. I do think Chelsea are trying to start a bidding war. Because like Liverpool's interested, Bayern's interested, City's in, not City. Bayern, um, bruv. Liverpool. Like what? Like, bruv, Tuchel's been linked with... Declan Rice and Mason Mount, bro. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Luka there, wants bro. Kovacic as well as a number six. And I'm thinking, this, you're not helping this, your This guy type. missing home or something. You know what I mean? What a weird guy, bro. Speaking of Kovacic as well, you guys got linked with him too today. Same, same article. He is any, the... Any he's the Kova or? In injury record, not good enough. He's the profile of player that we need to add to the team for sure. But wrong age and also wrong injury record. No thanks. Yeah, I feel like for you, Kovacic is more the move if you don't really get your first two targets or something. Yeah. Maybe going for Kovacic, because he's definitely leaving as well. He's in the same position as Mount. One year left. We haven't even opened contract talks with him. That hmm. brother's been shit this season as well, by the way. He's been one of hmm. our worst players. So I don't mind if he leaves or anything, because he clearly don't want to be here and he's thrown in the towel. So yeah. I don't know. He's, he's linked to City, um, Liverpool, you guys, whoever wants him. You lot can have him, take him. It is what it is. But just to wrap things up, um, I don't even know if I want to ask this, but score prediction, what's your thoughts? Oh, man, I think... Oh, no, man, I'm going to go for a 1-0 United. I don't think it's going to be a great game. I don't think it's going to oh, be a great nil. game. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a great game, but because we're at home, I think we'll keep the clean sheet and we'll just, we'll just edge the win. You know what? I'll take that because for me, I was gonna say I was gonna say three 0 United. We struggled to score goals like that. You know what I mean? That's the reason why um, we were never in the title race because we don't score goals. I mean, De Gea is gonna finish mm. the season with the most clean sheets, and for what? For nothing. It's all in vain. So you uh, won the Golden Glove. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. <sighs> I whatever, fair enough, fair enough. That that's a madness to me. I don't know how he's done that, but no, your defense, speak your defense, because that that will that will be the reason for it, because it definitely mm. ain't him, bro. But yeah, I'm going three 0 Man United, because yeah, when we're not winning this one, and we've been overdue a thrashing, so here it is, people. But guys, it has been a really good preview with Rance. Everyone, check out his channel and check out his Twitch link. Will be in the title and in the description below. I might drop a preview after the game. It depends on what time I get out of my battery level after the vlogs and everything. So bear with me on that. If not, we'll be live on the Friday afternoon. And yeah, big up people. Like, subscribe. And we're only four days away from the end, people. Only four days away. Up the Chelsea.